All right, continuing on with geometric sequences here. Uh, geometric sequences given non-consecutive terms, so terms that aren't next to each other, and also if they haven't given you the first term. So they're saying the fifth term in a geometric sequence is 14, so T5 equals 14, and the seventh term, T7, equals 0 0.56. Find the common ratio R, the first term A, and the nth term for the sequence. So what this question really boils down to is doing simultaneous equations in, in most basic form. So we know that uh, Tn equals AR to the n minus 1. That's a good starting point. Now we know that T5 equals 14. So the fifth term is 14, so 14 equals a r to the n minus 1, so it's the fifth term, so that's going to be 5 minus 1, which is 4. So that's one of our equations. The other equation is going to be the seventh term, 0 0.56 equals a r to the n minus 1, so that's 7 minus 1, that's 6. So now we just need to take these two equations and solve them simultaneously. So if I look at these, one way that you can solve them simultaneously, there's several ways, but I'm going to rearrange them both to make A the subject. So if I call this equation 1 and I call this equation 2, equation 1 can be rearranged to say that A equals 14 over R to the 4. That's the new equation 1. And equation 2 can be rearranged to say that A equals 0 0.56 over uh, R to the 6. So if A equals 14 over R, R to the 4 and A equals 0 0.56 over R to the 6, that means that these must be equal to each other. So sub equation 1 into equation 2. 14 over r to the 4 equals 0 0.56 over r to the 6. That means that r to the 6 over r to the 4 equals 0 0.56 over 14. So I'm just going to continue working over here. r to the 6 over r to the 4 is r squared. r squared equals whatever that is r squared equals 0 0.04, so then r equals the square root of 0 0.04, but we're going to get two answers, a plus or a minus. So that means that r equals 0 0.2 or negative 0 0.2. 0 0.2 or negative 0 0.2. Then we just need to sub both of those back into one of our initial equations, so I can sub 0 0.2 into equation 1 and that means now uh, let's let's grab a pen here it means that uh, 14 over 0 0.2 to the power of 4 equals a or 14 over negative 0 0.2 to the power of 4 equals a. Now both of those answers are going to be the same. So a is equal to 8, 7, 5, 0. So I've got an a value, I've got two r values. So that means that my final question, which is the nth term for the sequence, we can say that t to the n equals a, 8750, times, um, let's do it this way, we'll say times 0 0.2 to the n minus 1, or t to the n equals 8750 times negative 0 0.2 n to the negative 1. Okay, so simultaneous equations and geometric sequences. Done.